not too, too bumpy. episode 17 already uh, last week we reviewed a BMW M2 and this week we're doing the M2 comp with Gabe yours is three years Stay yeah, it was 2016 I believe oh, so four years. So 2020 this is 2020 I believe 20 I think, can't remember off the top of my head it was either 2018 or 2019 it was you get this? I got this last August. Okay, so three years pre-owned. Yeah. Was it so your second owner? Yes. Okay. So previous owner got pretty good care of it, I think, myself. Uh, it's pretty pretty decent, in my opinion. I think they took a pretty good care of it. How many miles were on it when you got it? I think it was at 30,000. Don't remember off the top of my head. Damn. I've put quite a bit on it already, though. Let's see, fifty-two thousand right now. So I, I, I'd be uh, driving. That's not too bad. I'd be driving. <laughs> so most of the t interior is similar to Daniel's with the, the dry carbon. Yep. So your paddle shifters. These are, are the stock paddle stock shifters. Okay. So Daniel's got the upgraded uh, ones that he put in. that are probably a little bit longer up top and then yeah, a little and longer on the bottom. Taller. Yeah, that's so you could click them if you're up here. Uh, I don't remember. Did Daniel have the orange? Uh, no. So this is the custom custom stitching for this this color on this uh, competition model. And I see the we got the sunset orange uh, package. So they did the orange stitching. Well, whoever bought the car originally specced it this way, but we'll see it when we get outside. But it's a nice orange. Before this, you had, had a Dodge Charger. Charger. Wild difference, I know. <laughs> what what year was that? Again? That was a 2020. Oh damn. That was a 2020. Yep. 2020 Scat Pack Dodge and Charger. When did you get it? Was it? I got it 2020. <laughs> yeah, I believe so. And that, what was before that? Uh, uh, before that, I got a, I had a Honda, just a regular Civic, a commuter car Civic. Damn. Nothing bougie. I 2014. Thought, I and thought the Charger was like. Before the Civic, I had a, I had a Volvo. So a Volvo. What? I didn't know you had, I had a Volvo. A, I had an S80. Uh, I think it was like a 2009 or something. So Volvo, Honda, yep. Charger, yep. M2. Yep. What a, it's like a That's wild. A, it's a different, it's a like lot of different. Genre. Yeah. <laughs> out of all four, actually I'll go, out of the last three, which one do you miss the most? I gotta say I miss the Charger. It's a really fun car, but like, it's just in a straight line kind of fun. Like, I don't know how to explain it other than like, you put the power down and you go in a straight line and it's just fun that way. How much horsepower did that have? 485 is what they claim from factory, but damn. That's not to the to the wheels. That's from the crank. Hmm. So comparing that to this, what would you say is the winner? I would say this is the winner. All around, like straight line you could go fast. I mean corners fast. It's just an all around like really fun car. Just super enjoyable, super comfy. The seats are comfortable. Yeah, like the seats hold like you in. hold yeah, yeah. I was gonna say they hold you in like they're, they're bolstering, so I can adjust the bolstering on this one. Mm -hmm. just, just the interior is just way nicer than the Charger was. I don't think Daniel does Daniel have a sunroof or no? I can't remember. I don't. I don't think he does. I don't. Yeah, I don't think he did. So yeah, it does does make the car a little heavier, but I don't know what the actual numbers are per se. Hmm. But sunroof gang, sunroof gang. Do you use your sunroof at all? Uh, sometimes, whenever 
whenever the weather's really nice out. I'm sure, a couple times I'll put it out. I guess. So, being an M2 comp, do you find people like, whoa, there's an M2 comp? Um, they, you, they have to like know. What I feel it like is. you kind of have to know. I feel like people don't, a lot of people don't really know. They'll just see, like, oh, it's a BMW or it's a, it says M or it's an M2. But they really only see the the competition part from the from the back from the badge. But hmm. unless you really know your car, you could probably tell. So, is there any body differences with the M2 and the M2 Comp? No, shouldn't. I don't think there's any at all. Just the uh, engine. No. And then above the Comp, there's the CES. I don't know if you've ever seen that. That's it's like another step above That's like competition. The sport comp. Yeah. So it's competition sport. So they'll have a carbon fiber roof. Yeah, what Cra crazy stuff. Just like, just baller stuff. Carbon fiber roof. I think suspension's different, and like the, the axles are different. Just all like performance parts. Everything's just yeah. Like everything from the racing up. division just put on the, mm. the car. That's cool. And I think it's lighter too. I don't I don't know by how much, but, and I think they tune it to like, it's something crazy. It's like almost 500 horsepower. Damn, that is pretty crazy. Then if it's like. Majority carbon fiber. That yeah, thing it's is super light. Light. And That's what I'm saying. It's just like <laughs> deadly fun. Hmm. Have you ever seen one of those in person? Uh, I haven't seen one. I don't think I've seen one in person. I did see one. There was one in Modesto at the at the CarMax for some reason. Somebody sold it to CarMax. Damn. And they were. <laughs> it was going for like sixty thousand or something. Damn. But, but it was like all chipped up and. Damn. It looked beat up. But it's super rare. Super rare cars. I think it's like. I don't even know off the top of my head how many there are in America, but it's not it's not a lot. The final one at CarMax. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> in Modesto. It's kind of wild. <laughs> well, let's let's check out the outside real quick. I like the little uh, M2 competition. Does that? I'm guessing that's that's factory. That's factory. Yeah. So you got your matched stitching all the way across with the like suede almost. I'm guessing these are heated. Uh, yeah, you can do heated. They're not cooling though. It's one thing that would have been awesome as cooling seats, but we get the suede, the Alcantara fabric on the side. That's a cool combo. This lights up at, at night. That does. Yeah, the whole badge. That's dope. Hmm. I see you have the the headrest. The headrest. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing I <laughs> I didn't I didn't notice that for a while on Daniel's car, and then we were at a gas station. I think we were like Shell or something, and I looked at, at the back of his his car i was like you don't have headrests or, or do you are you having like a trunk no the dealership didn't give it to me i was like what <laughs> i was like me firstly i'm going back i'm yeah, robbing yeah them. man what the hell we're fighting although i'm, I'm probably never use them <laughs> damn these brakes are, are pretty big yeah they're like almost the, the same bigger. size what fronts are bigger Damn. Are those for comp? The brakes? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Damn. Oh yeah. Yeah, those are massive. Wheels? I gotta say the wheels aren't fun to clean. Mm -mm. They don't look very fun to clean. No. Then, then knuckle busters right there. Yeah. Then that's not a lot of room to get your fingers in there now. Uh-uh. They're pretty dirty right now, so. <laughs> I won't zoom in too much. <laughs> and you said these are OEM from factory. Yeah, so these are factory uh, mirrors. What What is the point of that? Like, uh, I'm sure there's some aerodynamics to it, mm. but I would think the majority of it is just design and just how it look looks. Cool. It's kind of it kind of sets itself apart from other cars. I mean, and that's probably why a lot of other car enthusiasts are copying the idea and buying mirror caps that are. It does look cool. Cars. Seeing a lot of Infinities and Hondas, Hondas and, and Teslas now. I know why Tesla drivers are trying to make their car look a little nicer, I guess. Sportier. I guess. <laughs> it looks aggressive. It's a very aggressive. Is there anything outside that you would change or upgrade? Um, so in the plans, I want to do a carbon fiber hood at some point mm. and then get it color matched. Mmm, that'd be cool. And the trunk probably at some point. That would be very cool. I have the tips, but I need to replace them. Those aren't OEM. 
um, the previous owner installed those, mm. and so they faded a lot. And like Daniel said, the OEM ones are like two thousand dollars or something crazy, yep. something outlandish. No bueno. So I'll have to figure out which ones he got. Is this OEM? This uh, yeah. Huh. I believe so. It looks nice. Need to replace it. Oh. We get one similar. Is it supposed to move that much? No, it's getting pretty old. Oh. <laughs> Just some, some small upgrades that are coming. You've got the, the badging, obviously, like I said. That's probably the only way most people are going to understand that it's a competition. And you said under the hood, right? Uh, for, like, power rise? Different. Yes, it does come with a different engine. Because I don't yeah, know a whole speed. lot about BMW, but... I looked at the engine and it was pretty cool. Yeah, Daniel has the N55. This is the S55. Damn. This is OEM, OEM right? Yep. That's so cool. It's from factory. It's a strut brace. I've got the upgraded charge pipes. Aluminum oh. powder coated. I've upgraded the, uh, in, not the intake, the turbo uh, cooling. So that just hmm. cools the turbos. Crank hub is upgraded. I just noticed you have two of the latches instead of just one in the middle. Yep. Daniel's yeah. the same way. Huh. That's cool. Did you have to cut? Yes. <laughs> that does not fit <laughs> in I there. was like, this is really big. This does not fit compared <laughs> to the stock OEM one. So... Is it just higher up or is it like... It's, it's bigger. bigger. It's Damn. physically like larger. Wagner tuning. German engineering. Yep. That right there itself was like two grand. Damn. I like the overall look of it. I feel like... Oh. Power record. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get it right. I feel like overall, actually overall, what would you rate out of 10? What would you rate your car? Right now, currently, maybe a seven. Seven? I, there's some stuff I, I wanna get done to it before it's up there. Mm. What, what were those? Other than you said carbon fiber hood and trunk? Hood, trunk, tune. Somebody's gotten, I think, downpipe, a, you know, what would those BMW stuff. BBS wheels? Yep, exactly. <laughs> What would the tune do? So as stock, it's 405 horsepower. I think with a, a downpipe and tune, I could probably get it to almost 600. Holy shit. And you wouldn't, would you have to upgrade anything or is it? It's I've done most of push. the upgrades already. Oh, um, damn. M4 up to, I think it was like 800 or 900. Jesus. Which is insane. That's yeah. to the wheel. That's. That's intense. So that's like all built internals and stuff up for that. That's intense. But, uh, this this engine was known for the crane cub um, slipping. I don't mm. know for some reason engineers decided it would yeah, be a good idea to put in. a friction pad against two sprockets and then one bolt. <laughs> Obviously, the friction pad didn't hold. So when you were shopping, you wanted the orange? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. And Daniel, Daniel had his first, right? Yes. So I test drove Daniel's, and I was just in love. Like, even just with the OG M2, that thing's so fun. Like, it's literally, I don't think they're really that much of a difference besides the engine. That's it. Hmm. Just how, how fun these cars are. Where did you find this one? This one was at, oh, I'm blanking on the dealership right now. They were, they were a ter terrible dealership, too. <laughs> Oh no. Uh, what was it? We won't uh, plug Stevens them in. Creek. Oh. Creek. Yeah, shout out to Stevens Creek for being assholes. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> what happened? Uh, so, originally, I, I was looking for this color for like four months. I finally found it at Stevens Creek. I gave him a call. I was like, hey, I, like, can I get pictures of this? Because just, they just uploaded it onto the website. No pictures, nothing. I was yeah. like, I want to see it. Like, Can I see it? They finally put pictures up. They were showing me. I go down there. They made like a big like hassle out of the whole ordeal. 
I went to go get a, a cashier's check, and they wanted to go watch me do it. And I've never heard of anybody what the hell? watching somebody get a cashier's check. A cashier's check is just cash at that yeah. point. Like it's, it's valid. But anyway. What the hell? Long story short, <laughs> they told me they were ordering my plates. Never did. Damn. The plate was hiding underneath the stock dealer plate. Bruh. So I ended up taking it off. I was like, what the hell? Worth it? Yes. Very worth it. Beautiful car. Fun. Takes corners like, like butter. We're going to have to test that out then. Let's do it. All right, let's hop back in. Going back, I'm like, where's the seat? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely get you. Yeah. But it's not like, like, like jerky or anything. Yeah. yeah. Right, so we'll do the three roundabouts and then flip a UE and do them one more time. Perfect. While we're doing that, ask you a few questions on four dollar questions oh man yeah They're trying to make me crash <laughs> i gotta think and drive you ready sure let's do it all right so four dollar questions every dollar or every question you get right you get a dollar every question you get wrong i take that dollar away oh damn <laughs> But you can't lose money. Right. You can only lose the money that That's good, I'm gonna you didn't have. <laughs> Alright, question number one. I already know you said this, but what is your horsepower? 405. That's what they say from factory, but who actually knows? It's probably like 410. It could be less, man. You never know. <laughs> uh, 405 is from factory. With, with your the mods that you've done already, how much do you think it, you're actually pushing? It's probably four or five, four ten. I don't think it really. The mods I did probably didn't really add anything to them. Mm. Per se, it's more of like supporting mods for when you go tune and uh, downpipe. Hmm. So you did like the future mods before. Yep. Putting in the big thing and then realizing, oh, everything's breaking. Next, man. <laughs> Reliability is the, the key point. Very true. People gotta take notes on that. All right, question number two. How many pounds per, per torque? How many pounds per torque? Pounds per torque. Pounds per torque. What is it, like 485 or something? I wrote down 406. 406. One above your horse, probably. So it's pretty equal. Yeah, it's pretty cool. What was the original price? The original price, like before I bought it, or we, yeah, like MSRP. I think they were going for 60, 61,000 or something. What about without the dealership markup? I couldn't tell you. I think it was 60,000. They're pretty close. It was about 57,000. I mean, with the they dealership really markup, their, then they really yeah. Value. How much did you get this for? Sixty thousand. Oh damn! They kept their value. People were like, "I want one." <laughs> what were the color options? Uh, all of them. Yes. Well, for me, the only color option is sunset orange. But they've got mineral gray. Beach blue, mm -hmm. uh, the Alpine white, and you got one more. There's one more, huh? Uh, there's Hockenheim silver. That is one of them. I guess that you might got not be one on more, one more. <laughs> um, Damn, those birds were flying in front of that car like they were trying to hit it. Trying to die. I don't know the last one. It says black sapphire. Never see them. That's what Google said. Black Sapphire. <laughs> so I wrote it down. I was like, "All right, Black Sapphire." <laughs> so around, how 
how many were made in 2020 in the USA and Canada? Um, like ballpark of competitions. Yes. I had seen on a, a forum somewhere that it was 20,000 was the complete number of of units of M2s made, mm. but that's not like reducing like the non-competition models and because I don't think they really said how many of which they produced. I saw the same form. So it was like 20 and then you had to subtract. But I think somebody in the form said it was like 4,500. Only 4,500 were, were made in the US. Yep. 45. Damn, you kept reading. <laughs> it was a hard read. <laughs> Man, sometimes forums are really like useful, just but just they're just depth. dry as hell. Just yeah, my, depth, super oh nerdy. my gosh. God. Yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> I'm like, I'll just watch a YouTube video and call it a day. <laughs> so you got one, two, three, three out of five. I'll take it. Pretty solid. I'll take it. All right, we gotta find a road. Ready, set, go. Damn. Alright. When did you hit 60? When you stopped? <laughs> no. Oh, you're good. They don't. I don't know what he's doing. They don't have. Yeah, they had to stop. No. <laughs> they didn't even stop it. I don't want to die. If you want, we can keep going straight and then it loops you around back to Yosemite. Let's do it. And there's another straightaway. So from the GoPro, launching at 35 seconds, you stopped at 41. When you stopped, was that when you hit 60? I don't know if we can do it again though. <laughs> this is going to go straight into a corner. That's fine. Okay. Alright, we're going to start again at 45, go. Okay, yeah, that was five seconds. We're getting better. <laughs> Damn, this really does handle really well. It just takes the corners like it's nothing. I don't know if there's like another cornery road to show, but... I mean, this road is ass, it but it's pretty better. fun. Ah, I mean, it's not too, too bumpy. fastest you've gone in this? Maybe like 150. You say 150 or 115? 150. Damn. I think we hit like almost 140 on that road. I, I don't remember. I didn't look down. I'll we'll have to, yeah. I was too scared to look down. <laughs> Same. Oh well, man, I might be like punching myself in the face with a GoPro. <laughs> Is there a sheep over here oh, now? What the hell? I definitely agree, this is a very fun car. Well, that's the end of the, the video. Nice. Do you have anything, any shout outs you wanna give? I'll keep going straight. Shout out to Daniel for shouting me out. You know, those baller things. M brothers. For real. Competition gang. Competition gang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, BMW stands for Bayersh Motor in Working, which is Bavarian Motor Works. I just had to put that in there from the last episode. <laughs> and this was made in Germany, not Mexico. That is the G87. What's the difference between the G87 and what you guys have? The G87 is super blocky and it has the S58 engine in it. Just a whole different re like concept conceptualization. If that's a word. <laughs> I just made that up. I mean just basically we'll add a new concept. It huh. I personally don't care for the look of the car. It's grown on me a little bit, but Those it's are the, still the newer ones, right? Then Yeah, it, it looks kinda weird. It it's looks 
like a Minecraft almost. Yeah. It's like, okay. Most people just call it a Roblox NASCAR. <laughs> yeah. I can see that. Giant green. Super boxy. So those are made in Mexico. Yes. For some reason they decided to move production for that line to Mexico. Oddly enough, I don't know, this is weird. The other, all the other ones in the G-Series G lineup are made in Germany, I believe. Hmm. They just decided to outsource to Mexico for that one. Good to know. Well, Daniel, I owe you a dollar then. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Alright, well, that was the end of the episode. See ya.